journey with the lifeline amidst the corona virus pandemic introductory prayer lord during your ministry on earth you showed your power and care by healing people of all ages and stations of life from physical mental and spiritual ailments you traveled through towns and villages curing every disease and illness at your command the sick were made well come to our aid now in the midst of this global spread of the corona virus that we may experience your healing love we make this prayer through christ our lord amen first station jesus is condemned to die we adore you o christ and we bless you Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Humanity feels powerless in this outbreak of corona virus. We see in a devastating way how widely a virus spreads from person to person. We have confidence in you Lord our lifeline. As Pope Francis encourages us, let us call upon him today, firmly rooted in prayer, for without prayer all our activities risk being fruitless and our message empty. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Make me a servant humble and me Lord let me lift up those who are we second station Jesus is forced to carry his cross We adore you O Christ and we bless you Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world God of love and compassion you made this world and you care for it but today the world feels helpless many of us are worried about our future not knowing what to do lord be with us and help us discover your peace in our lives Give us the grace to face this pandemic in courage just as you faced the cross may we with great faith in you be able to combat this disease have mercy on us o lord have mercy on us may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god Rest in peace. Lord in compassion, listen to my pleading, listen to my cry. If you refuse lord to forgive your people sins we will surely die from the depths i call to you oh lord listen to my cry. 
third station jesus falls for the first time we adore you o christ and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world father we seek your wisdom today be with people making decisions that affect the lives and future of our families communities countries and the entire planet inspire and energize people developing better tests to diagnose the virus vaccines to prevent it and protocols and communication to eliminate the spread of the pandemic may truth and empathy be the touchstones of people setting policies for our protection let us be strengthened by your journey to calvary have mercy on us o lord have mercy on us may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace When the sun has set and the night is on when the darkness falls and the light is gone you be fourth station Jesus meets his afflicted mother We adore you O Christ and we bless you Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world Lord Jesus You saw the strength of love in the eyes of your afflicted mother who suffered with you. May we, Lord, never run away from the sorrow of the affected and the infected. If we can bring a little comfort and love in their lives, may we feel with them in their trying moments. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. fifth station Simon carries the cross of Jesus We adore you O Christ and we bless you Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world Lord Jesus Today many of us are afraid anxious and have feelings of isolation by the widespread disease of corona virus media is working in difficult and complex situation to report 
on the pandemic. However, watching news in different channels seems to confuse us. At times, we tend to lose hope. Lord, be their inspiration to walk in your marga of truth. Bless their work and help them in propagation of authentic news and stories. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Sixth Station Veronica Wipes Jesus' Face We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world O Lord Grant those who formulate policies the foresight to act with charity and true concern for the well-being of all the people. Give them the wisdom to invest in long-term solutions that will help to prepare for or prevent future outbreaks. May they experience your peace as they work together Bless the initiatives of the governments and other agencies. Lord, our lifeline, stay with us in our struggle, endurance, moaning, sorrow and isolation. Give us your peace. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Seventh Station Jesus Falls for the Second Time We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world God of Mercy be with the thousands of people who have contracted the coronavirus around the world. Comfort those whose loved ones have passed away. Bring peace to those living with uncertainty after perhaps being exposed to the virus. Give patience to those who are isolated 
and are unable to move freely. Give strength to those who are taking care of them. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Station. The women of Jerusalem weep for Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Dear Lord, Many educational institutions are closed because of this menace. Some students are affected by the disease and many are in confusion as to how to spend their time. They feel miserable due to the postponement of exams. Lord, be at their side. Give them the wisdom to know that you love them. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Lord, in this time of the pandemic, it may look like a complete collapse and the end of the journey. We entrust to your tender care those who are ill or in the danger of losing their lives, those who have no one to look after them and those who feel desolated in the midst of this chaos. May the picture of you struggling up from this fall, encourage them. O oh, our lifeline, 
Embrace these your sons and daughters warmly and make them safe. Comfort, heal and restore them to health and strength. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Tenth station. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Lord, our lifeline, you are close to the brokenhearted. We entrust into your care the poor, the daily wage laborers and the migrants who are stripped off their dignity and have nowhere to go. Surround them with your love and comfort them in their sorrow. Grant that they may not be overwhelmed by their loss. You teach us not to be afraid, for you are with us. Help the needy to feel the power of your presence. Give them confidence in your goodness and strength to meet the days ahead. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Eleventh Station Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The cross was a symbol of shame and failure. But the touch of the lifeline to the cross made it a sign of life, hope and love. Sanctify, we pray, our doctors and nurses and all those you have called to study and practice the art of healing the sick and prevention of the disease. May they persevere in their work and bring the touch of your love to the patients. Strengthen them in body and soul and bless their work that they may give comfort to others. May they all experience the healing power of your self-emptying love on the cross. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed 
through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Twelfth Station Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Lord, the lifeline of all people, we turn to you with hope. By your death, you embraced everyone. We remember your words. Today, you will be with me in the paradise. We entrust those who have lost their lives in this pandemic. Be their eternal lifeline. In this life, you embraced them with your tender love. Welcome them into heaven where there is no more suffering or pain give them the fullness of your peace and joy have mercy on us o lord have mercy on us may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace Thirteenth Station Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Lord, your lifeless body was laid in the arms of your mother at the foot of the cross. We lift the people who are likely to become the victims of the coronavirus into the arms of Mother Mary. We pray for the old and the children. Protect them with your divine unfailing help and be their comfort in this time of anxiety. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. At the cross your sorrow sharing, Fourteenth Station Jesus is laid in the tomb. 
We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Lord, our lifeline, we believe that you are always with us in the day and in the night, to protect and make us worthy instruments of your love. We pray that we may reach out to all in need. Increase our faith in you to enable us to stretch out our loving hands to those who are in need and care. We also pray for your protection for our families, friends, and those who are in need of your help. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have, Have mercy on us. May, May the souls of the faithful departed, departed through the mercy of God, God rest in peace. Concluding Prayer O Mary, you always shine on our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust ourselves to your Son, the source of all health. At the cross you took part in Jesus' pain, keeping your faith firm. Your Son, our lifeline knows what we need and we are sure he will provide so that as in Cana of Galilee we may stay with you during this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father. We pray for good health, stable mind and an atmosphere of tranquility for all people on this earth during these days of anxious waiting. For all the intentions of our Holy Father, let us pray one Our Father, one Hail Mary and a glory be to the Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Bless are you among women, and bless is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.